Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. Mm. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. Yep. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. Look at the... It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Yep. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Yep. Uh, you should have said so sooner. Then... The plastic water bottles were used in place of the shower. Hmm. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Yep. Hold on a sec. Now that I think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, that person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. Would have to be somebody who was soaking wet. Hmm? See? Just as I thought. Well, that Hold implies on. it's Pecco. You, you know who the killer is? Which I'm not a fan of as a theory. Is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? The killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splattered onto them. Mahura's killer must be that person. The implication based on people who were soaking wet would be Pecco. You're the only one! Pecco. Which I'm not 100% sure about. Hey! What are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer! Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting Three to people to besides beach, the killer. Your appearance when you came to the diner. Hadn't uh, clearly seen... Three people had seen the body. One of them was the dancer. One of them was the engineer. Who was the third? Because it was the third person who wasn't killer. Was it Pekka? Who then ended up having to clean evidence off of herself. Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent! Say something! Hold on, you bastard! Yeah, you saw her go. at the diner! You never saw her near the beach house, right? Why are you suddenly leaping to her defense? So maybe she really was swimming! No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? Uh, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I cross paths with her on my way home so so there's no doubt she would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house hold on that's strange didn't you just say this earlier it's just a coincidence I passed by the diner I didn't even pay any attention to the beach house I went straight back to the hotel after I saw you guys I didn't see anyone during that time you told me you didn't see anyone don't try to tell me you forgot about that <laughs> Not so fast! It's too soon to decide she's a killer! Unfortunately, I agree with you. We haven't point. established how the killer was able to leave the beach house! He's right. Now that you mention it, you're right. It's clearly something to do with that window. The roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beach side without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect. Pekko is. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, Nothing is unsolvable. if Echo is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, Let's establish how the killer escaped. The killer's escape route. I might know what it was. 
The only possible I can think of opening. I see! Is the small window in the shower, yes. If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is. Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. Yep. But how the hell would they get up to it? Huh! <laughs> Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it! But, but, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside! Of course not! That would violate the school trip rule! Yeah, no littering. Corpses don't count as littering. <laughs> littering is prohibited! Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. Hmm. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window! No, they just have to use an object. Yep. Chiaki! Don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object! You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see! You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Coach's chains? Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? Or in her sword bag? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! No! Please don't be violent! They wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. So the only thing I could think of is they must have hidden it somewhere. If that's the case... Focus. The object they used to escape out the window. Oh, God. I bloody hate these. Uh... Nope, not the sword bag, okay. Random ass guesswork for the win. Nope. Well, every letter that I've come across so far has uh, missed. Uh, good lord, it begins with a B, right. Okay, BA. No. No. I have no bloody clue. Bam. Oh god, is this going to say bamboo sword? Come on, seriously. Okay. O's. I see why uh, one of my commenters on uh, some of the parts I've already uploaded said I would hate the new Hangman's Gambit. They're right. Bamboo S. W. That O. Come on, give me an R.
Hello, beautiful. Give me a D. Wrong button, damn it. For the love of Pete, give me a D. Thank you. Flaming finally. Oh god damn it, I hit the wrong button. If that second D hadn't come along then, that would be incredibly infuriate. Echo, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then too. Hmm. I did notice that. So are we implying that Pekka was the, the killer? Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? I'm highly dubious of that. Yeah. Pekko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. Seriously? A uh, sword as a step stool? How the hell would you, you even see? do that? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily! Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Um, okay. Speaking as someone who handles swords on a pretty regular basis, before anybody makes a gay joke, if you're not aware, I do actually, you know, I am part of a martial club that trains medieval swordsmanship. Okay, I'd be ha granted, wait, you know, we use steel, not bamboo, but I would have... I'd be bloody surprised if a bamboo sword could take the entire weight of a person. And a metal blade would bend. Because if you don't make blades bend, they break. Wow! Just like a Japanese ninja! Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Have you never seen American ninja? Ugh. Uncultured swine. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but... I'm sure a slender girl like Pekko could easily use it to climb. Well, Pekko, do you have anything to say? For the panic talk action, PTA, let's talk a bit about Fever Time and Nega Time. From this point on, you'll be able to use Fever Time by pressing the space key. When Fever Time is activated, it'll be pushed to its max. But that's not all you won't miss during Fever Time. Yeah, 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 I know. Anyone who can get the upper hand, Nega Time, yep. Okay, yep. Yeah. Hey, hold on a sec, you bastard! You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? Now that is a good it question. It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! Fuyu Hiko, why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she it used a bamboo white, sword uh... as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Why? Why are you... Okay. He does seem quite agitated now. Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got one, proof, two, you bastard! Three. One, two, That's three. obviously impossible! One, two, three. Bastard! One, two, three. Got proof, you bastard! I'll sell your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Got proof, you bastard! That's I can't obviously really talk impossible! During these segments, because it really takes a lot of concentration. If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, uh, it would have been left behind! Bag. This is the end! There we go. If she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, she could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it.
and after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, I'm she very dubious of the physics of this. Sword. <gasps> I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Hmm. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. God, he's bloody obsessed, oh, isn't he? You just back off! Uh, um, is it true? Did you really kill Monkey uh, Hold on! You're just making assumptions! You, you don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof! Got it, you bastard! Calm the hell down, Fuyahiko. It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted it just now? Right? She admitted she's Mahiro's killer? Right? But is this right? Even though Fuyuhiko was the one arguing with us, Pekko's just admitted it so Among freely. Flowers, the cherry blossom, well, again, men, she the has samurai. to have been person number three who found the body. decisiveness, at least. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agree. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Hmm. Can it wait until after the voting? This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Pekko's motive. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Mm. Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I must say... It was for the sake of justice. Huh? Justice? In order to protect the justice of this world. Oh god, don't tell me she really is the bloody serial killer. Again? That was case two last time as well. Oh, you're getting do- Yo, if this actually turns out to be uh, the situation, I'm docking you points, game, for repeating elements. I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. Hmm. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. Y you... What are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun. And the enduring moon. The protective father. And the smiling mother. Uh, hello! Earth to Pekko! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people's smiles would vanish. Well, she's, uh, loopy. I will not allow that! It, it's fine, just stop it! Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is... Could she be... As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Oh boy. She actually is the bloody... Justice complete! Of course. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. Stop saying the word justice. As I said earlier, you seem to have about as good an understanding of justice as Zack Snyder, i.e. none. Justice is vengeance tempered by wisdom. 
And no, I can't remember if I'm nicking that quote from somebody or not. I have a feeling I might be, but I, it could genuinely be something I came up with myself. I'm not sure. You know, but justice is impartial, and ultimately, justice is fair. And true justice is not an eye for an eye. That is vengeance. <sighs> that would be me. Sparkling justice! Now then, let's execute justice! What? What, what the fuck?! I would like to second that. What are you doing? I am Sparkling Justice. In the name of Sparkling Shining Justice, I have come to deliver justice. What's going on? What's this? Chill. Peko finally snapped. Everyone, please be careful. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is supposed to be... but... huh? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask! I'm sorry, if you're gonna wear a mask, at least, you know... You know cape, cowl, all that kind of stuff. Oh, and, um, incidentally, superheroes don't kill people. Yeah, I know, I know, Marvel, yada yada yada, but no, 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 no. I'm a DC guy. And not the current DC Cinematic Universe, because... Christ, why the hell did they hand the keys to that to Zack Snyder? Anyway, off topic. But superheroes don't kill people. This mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols. The sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. I, I don't get it, but but this is becoming really crazy. What? What the heck is this? Peko is the killer. What? Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events! Nope, because we are still missing something. As I stated before, or as has been stated, three people saw the body. Three people, Inc. plus the killer. One of them was our engineer, who was the one who basically found the body, to all intents and purposes. One of them was the dancer. And the third was Peko, and Peko is not the killer. Hey! Doesn't mean she's not now crazy. Now's not the time for you to be sleeping. Take a look. It's a killer. <sighs> this again? Yeah. Huh? Sleep Sleep talking? So what's your? They're making meta to jokes about question. this. Why this world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying my hero is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... To protect justice, of course. Oh In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword and executed justice. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! Mm. <laughs> She's so gross! Calm the hell down. Peko, is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's uh, most important. God. 
I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. Well, you're crazy. <laughs> Why are they always crazy? Oh, I can't stand this anymore! Let's just end this farce already! End it. He's right, we need to end this already. In the end, there's no mistake that it was Pekka all let's along. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. Oh god, not the bloody closing argument. I hate this bit. Really though? I feel like we're still missing someone. Uh, on the morning of uh, she met. Okay. In order to lure, we'll forge two letters. It's an easy one. Uh, the first one to arrive at the beach was. Uh, uh, next one to arrive at the beach was. Oh, Meekin arrives. Who did Killer leave next? What did they leave next to the body? How tall? Uh, time to wash up the blood. Plastic water bottles. There we go. Where they hid, they hid into the surfboard case. Okay. The hero mats. Okay. He arrives first. Next one. Uh, killer left next to the body. Now, first one who found the body was her. Sprinting from the house, but that's already there. Killer dropped eleven. No, nope, seriously. Okay. Then we go left a big piece of evidence. Okay, in the. Was it? After she ran away, the killer dropped the lemon flesh gummy. Okay, there it is. Move the bamboo sword. What's that? Does that go there? Yeah, okay. They promised to meet up. Next one to arrive at the peach house was. Ahiru. The body, the killer left the mask, which is just too bloody obvious. When he found the body, Ash left down the footprints of the sand, okay. Last lot. Okay, tie the bamboo sword to the bag. First one he found the body was. Uh, Here's everything that happened in this case. We're still missing one person finding the, the goddamn began body. This morning, when Mahiru spoke to Hyoka, Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome murder case. The video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. Yeah, this case has been very, very weird. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. There's elements of this one the that just don't seem to add up on their to conversation me. And used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. Mm. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter, showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m. just like it said. Yep. And was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. Mm -hmm. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet, so they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. 
Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. Mm. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. Mm. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is, it's something similar to a calling card. Mm. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But so the killer expected the something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. Mm. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. Mm. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. Agreed. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. Mm. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko Hagged fled it. from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. Yep. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case. Sorry, I appreciate we're overrunning this episode a little bit. But... And placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. Mm. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. Mm. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used... the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle... My problem with that is it's not possible. I mean, I can check with a friend of mine who does do kendo to reach kendu, the small window kendu, while holding the sword bag in their but hand. I'm very dubious of the idea of a bamboo sword being strong enough to take the weight of a whole person. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So, when the weird. killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Peko Peko Yama? Hmm. I see. I'm still not convinced, but that's a decent point to end this part. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.